matchquarters.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to sort your columns and just show you kind of a, a different way of doing it. So what I like to do anytime I've got a cut up. So what I've done here is I'm going to scroll this out. What I've done is I actually have two different cut ups. You can kind of see that they change um, right about right here. So I've, I've kind of added two different cut ups together. Uh, now the play data I haven't put in there, but I've done the formation data. I want to resort these cut these cut ups so that it's by mo formation uh, set personnel. Uh, all of this up here and then I would do the play but to do that all you got to do is if you're on a Mac it's the command key or if you're on a, a desktop or a regular laptop it would just be the the regular control key and I'm just going to hit this three times and you can see that it now sorts it from most to least if I keep holding it down then it will sort it all the way through and so what I like to do, I don't normally ever sort the FIB or the motion because it'll kind of mess it up. And anyways, if you're doing a two by two, you can see that it, it goes ahead and sorts it. So now all I, uh, now my cut up is sorted from most to least. So the most personnel is uh, 10 personnel, then 11, 20 personnel, then finally with the 12 personnel. Now, I also do it by set because even in here, so like in the 20 personnel, you have is it, is it tied in in the, in the C area or is he in a sniffer position or is it pistol? So we have a sniffer and we have a pistol formation in there too. Uh, so it does that. The other thing too with like 11 personnel um, and even two by two, if you do the gun near boundary, if you label gun near and gun near boundary different, uh, this this sorts it out, but here you can see that we have gun uh, gun far, meaning the running back is away from the twin side, is actually four times compared to the three times that we have the him to that, and so from there you can do that, um, and then finally what I would do with that is I would do play type, uh, then the play. Uh, and then uh, the backside concept and then uh, eventually I would get uh, there should be a target in here as well I'll add a target in here later and then you'll sort it that way And so that's kind of how I go through and sort that and that is again how you sort your cut-ups uh, So I get questions all the time about hey, how do you create your one hit cut-ups? Well, I create a master list of everything that I want first I sort it and then now I click save I just save the order and then now from this, uh, I would go in and say, okay, I want this play, I want this play, um, I want this play, and then let's finally go with this play. Well, I've since I've sorted it for most of the least, when I make my new one hit cut up, meaning that I'm going to show one example of that play, it's already sorted for me and I don't have to then sort my one hit. Because let's say you may have different variations in 11 personnel than you have in 10 personnel. And so what you don't want is to have, because you have more 11 personnel clips in there, that goes to the top. You want it to be uh, most to least. And so that way it's already sorted. So hopefully that helps you in sorting. Again, hold the command key, hit it three times, uh, and keep holding the command key down and selecting uh, the sort that you want. Uh, if you're on, again, you're on a desktop or you're on like a, a regular laptop, a non-Mac computer, uh, then it would just be the control button. Thank you. Uh, for more information on this, uh, make sure to subscribe to MatchQuarters.com YouTube page. Always check out MatchQuarters.com for the latest in defensive content. Follow me on Twitter at the underscore coach underscore A.